Well, hello YouTube. Uh, it's, uh, it's been some time, hasn't it? Um, I believe the last video I uploaded was uh, in uh, March of 2020, right when COVID began. And it's now September of 2021, so uh, it's been uh, it's been a year and a half now since I've uploaded. That's a while. That's a long time. And a lot can happen in a year and a half, but uh, I'm real excited to uh, uh, be uh, spending this time with you guys. Um, I'm just really grateful for all of you, you know, for your patience and uh, for the role that you play in uh, in my life, you know, you motivate me to better myself because the fact that you're here, and not just that, you know, it's one thing to have an audience of 4,000-ish subscribers, which is awesome, by the way, thank you. Um, but uh, you guys in particular, uh, because you guys are mature and you're respectable and intelligent human beings, and uh, that kind of community uh, is valuable, there's value there. And, uh, and I think uh, large, uh, uh, that's largely due to the fact that uh, many of you are from Shadowversity's channel. And in my opinion, Shadowversity's got pretty much the best YouTube community that there is. And, um, you know, being able to uh, be a part of that is, is just amazing. And uh, it would be, I think it would be a shame for me to just discard that entirely, you know. So, but hey, I'm still here. Uh, I have not forgotten you guys. Uh, sorry, I, I'm usually a little more pumped than this, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep it, I gotta keep it low volume wise. But, but, uh, but yeah, just wanted to kind of update you guys real quick on uh, my personal life and also what the future of the channel looks like uh, from this point forward. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, personal life's going really great right now. Uh, the uh, reason I stepped away from this channel for the time being is because of a business opportunity that came my way. And uh, the association that came with that, and the you know mentorship and the coaching that came with that, has been just a blessing beyond what I can describe, really. Um, and uh, I know some of you were concerned about that. Uh, I saw some comments on the on that uh, goodbye for now video, and uh, I appreciate the concern. Uh, but uh, I'm not in some illegal pyramid or anything like that. You know, I I'm not taking advantage of people. I'm not spear hunting people. I'm not you know getting people hyped up and recruiting them. And, trying to you know shove products down people's throats or anything like that none of that stuff it is a it's a legitimate business and uh, i'm not at liberty to go in detail right now because of time's sake but um yeah it's and if i was doing anything that was illegal or taking advantage of people I, or like if i was presented an opportunity to do that i wouldn't do it you know because i consider myself a, a man of christ you know i uh, am not going to spend my life doing something that's wrong you know because uh I know I've seen the effect that that has on people, and I certainly am not going to be responsible for that. You know, how am I going to come face to face with Jesus when, when I know that I've spent my life doing that? It's just not going to happen. Okay. Now you don't have to share the same beliefs that I do. That's that's kind of the belief system I follow. But uh, but yeah, that that's that's like I said, what I follow. And um, so I still I do appreciate the concern though. But they're not taking advantage of me. I'm, they're not taking my money or anything like that. If anything, I've taken their money and taken advantage of them, quite frankly, uh, because my life has just gotten way better because of this association. I'm extremely, extremely grateful for that. I've needed a lot of help to become who I am today, and I still got a very long ways to go. Uh, you know, I am totally just imperfect. You know, I, I don't think I'm all that in a bag of chips. I don't think I'm better than anybody else, you know. Uh, you could point out one thing that's wrong about me and I can give you 10 more, you know. But uh, that being said, you know, hanging around these business owners has uh, helped me a great deal with uh, just moving my life forward, you know, not just financially, but in other areas as well. Like with my faith, for example, I know that I'm touched on that a little bit, but, uh, and like I said, I don't mean to uh, shove my beliefs onto you. You know, you don't have to share the same beliefs that I do, but I do consider myself a Christ follower. And so as a result, you know, um, they've helped me just, you know, have a closer walk with, with Jesus and, you know, get into the habit of, you know, reading the Bible regularly and praying regularly and going to church regularly and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not perfect, but, you know, it's better than what I used to do. I used to pretty much never do any of that stuff, never pray, never read the Bible, never go to church, and any attempts I did have to at least try to get consistent with any of that stuff pretty much failed after just a few days, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's uh, helped me with uh, some personal struggles as well. Again, I'm not going to get into detail on that right now, but, uh, but yeah, um, I have a pretty dark past, uh, and, uh, and they've helped me get through all of that stuff, you know? It's, and, you know, because <laughs> I, uh, 
I highly doubt that someone who, you know, I, I've, I've exposed myself at the deepest level uh, to uh, the person that I work closest with in this business uh, opportunity, and he did not judge me for that. He just uh, said, okay, well, I acknowledge that, you know, spiritual illness for what it is, and I disapprove of that behavior, and we need to set some boundaries between you and me because of that, but let's get you the help that you need to take care of that. And, uh, and he did, and um, it was absolutely worth it. You know, it was very scary to talk about that stuff, but uh, I'm glad I did, you know. It was a step of faith right there, and it paid off big time. Uh, but yeah, socially, you know, with my people skills and things like that, you know, I'm way less shy and way less nervous when it comes to meeting people. Uh, I'm, again, I'm not perfect at it. I still sometimes just kind of stand there awkwardly. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, striking up a conversation with someone, for example, isn't nearly as difficult as it used to be. You know, for most of my life, especially during my adolescence, I was pretty much friendless. Um, now, I did have friends, but I pretty much never hung out with people outside the classroom environment or the work environment after I graduated and got and started working in the workforce, you know, and um, except for like one person uh, who was one of my patrons back when this channel was active, uh, but uh, yeah, bless her heart. Um, but yeah, and it's, uh, they've helped me with, you know, just my emotional and uh, mental health. Uh, you know, like like I said, with uh, with my dark past, that had a serious effect on my mental health as well. And that's that's all, you know, been put behind me. Very grateful for that. Uh, physical health, you know, I lost 30 pounds, you can probably tell. <laughs> Look a little younger as well. Uh, I, um, I actually showed a picture of my driver's license back when I had my long hair and my goatee and stuff like that. Uh, to uh, to a restaurant owner, and uh, she said that I uh, currently look roughly uh, 10 to 15 years younger now, even though that was four years ago. I'm actually four years older. Uh, so again, I don't say that to brag. I say that because, you know, I, I surrounded myself with people who've got the fruit on the tree and they have the results in life that I'm after. So what do those people know that I need to know? And so I just kind of duplicate what they do. I don't copy them. Like I don't, you know, try to adopt the exact same personality that they have, but you know, it, it comes down to the habits and stuff like that. So how do they live on a day-to-day -day basis? And then financially, um, I my income has gone up five times in the last two years after meeting these people. Um, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, and I'm, again, extremely grateful for that. And uh, I uh, am almost completely debt-free as well. In fact, next month, I'm probably going to be 100% debt-free. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and uh, I'm just grateful that, you know, I don't have, you know, a car payment. I don't have student loans or anything like that that I, that I have to deal with. Because honestly, you know, the, the expenses I already have, you know, I'm still barely scraping by. You know, despite the increase in income, you know, just more expenses got added as time went on. Uh, because when I was living in Portland, I was living in my grandmother's house and I wasn't paying rent at that time. You know, she let me stay there by myself completely for free. And I just had to pay the electric, water and internet. And that was it. And my phone bill, and my car insurance and stuff like that. Uh, it's very different now because uh, you might have noticed the environment's a little bit different because uh, I uh, actually moved to uh, Dallas, Texas three months ago. It's been just over three months as of today. But yeah, because uh, uh, of uh, that business opportunity I mentioned earlier. Uh, and plus, Portland is kind of where a lot of my dark paths took place, and I wanted to kind of separate from that. Uh, and it was a nice chance to kind of have a clean slate. Plus, there was nothing really keeping me in Portland, you know. Um, you know, these people who have helped me get through everything that I just talked to you about, uh, you know, I, I, I felt that I kind of owed it to them to just uh, go with them wherever they went, you know, because of what they've done for me. And the fact that there was something keeping me in Portland, it's like, Okay, why not, you know? So, but yeah, I'm here in Texas now, and I love it. Uh, things are very different here, but different in a good way, I think. So, there's a lot of wealth here as well. And uh, speaking of which, I, I'm starting a new job tomorrow at a, at a tech company. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna try and keep that modest. I don't wanna, you know, sound all bourgeois status -y, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, I'm extremely grateful for that because uh, getting my foot in the door with the tech industry has been been the dream for like 10 years now. Now, I don't intend to do this forever. My, my business is my long-term financial plan. This is what's going to pay the bills for the time being. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes for however long I'm still there, you know. But, uh, but yeah. Um, and 
I don't have any education or certification on that. So again, that's just a testament to getting around people who just have the fruit on the tree. You know, it's definitely about who you know. So it's like, why aren't we taught this stuff in school, you know? In fact, for that matter, how come we're not taught like how to do a job interview or how to like file your taxes and stuff like that, you know? Uh, I bet some of you can relate to that. Uh, but um, but yeah, so so I guess what uh, what's left hanging then is what's the future of the channel look like? Well. Uh, I've talked about it to uh, my business partner that I work closest with. Uh, I consider him, you know, my my like life coach, my mentor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, I don't go for him to him for permission. I go to him for perspective. You know, he has results in life that I want. So it's not okay. Do I have your permission to do something in my life? No, it's not that. It's more like okay, I'm in this situation. What were you? What would you do? What would you do if you were in my shoes with the results that you have and the mindset that you have? So. And uh, it's projected that in one year's time from now, my business will be in a place where I can start doing this again. I'm um, gonna start getting back into cosplay and start uploading videos once again. Now, I realize that might be a bit of a downer for some of you because it's already been a year and a half since I've uploaded my last video and to have to wait another year is uh, kind of a pain in the butt, but um, I think it's gonna be worth the wait for you um, because I'll be a totally different person by then than I am now and uh, I, will be less focused because at that time, m m the main reason I was uploading videos was to make this my exit strategy from, you know, having a job, you know, I wanted to do YouTube full time. And so my motivation was just money. But uh, at this point, it's going to be just a passion project, you know, uh, and I'm, I'm going to choose not to make any money off of this channel. And if I do, it's all going to go to charity or something. We'll figure that all out later, but I'm not going to keep any of the money that this channel makes for myself. Uh, so it's going to be just a passion project and so I'm going to be able to just pour more of my soul into this and that's all for you guys, you know, uh, but, um, but yeah, so one year from now, most likely it might be sooner, it might be later, but don't know. That's, that's a very, very, very rough estimate. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, and that's because, and now you might be thinking, well, you've been in that opportunity for a year and a half. How come you're not in a position now? Well, I haven't done the work, uh, because the last two years, uh, ever since I committed to this. I've, I've been working on myself, um, you know, with everything that I just talked about, you know, I was going through all that stuff and growing myself as a man, you know, because um, I had to just learn to lead myself and I'm still very far from perfect at that. Uh, I'm better than I used to be, don't get me wrong, uh, but uh, I still got a long ways to go. But I'm at the point now where I'm actually really starting to, you know, gain some traction with my business. And uh, when you uh, create wealth in a business, it tends to be you know, exponential instead of linear. Uh, and so it's gonna take off in the next handful of months. Um, and, uh, you know, I just say that with the utmost confidence because, you know, I just feel it in my bones, quite frankly. Um, so uh, I might not have a ton of results right now, but uh, that's gonna be turning, be turned around very soon. And uh, once it reaches a certain point, then I'll be coming back for cosplay stuff. So maybe not like, weekly videos at first it might be every other week or something but um it's going to be it's going to be a gradual process uh so i do really appreciate your guys's patience and for those of you that are watching this video uh your guys's uh, care for me as a person uh, and that uh, also doesn't really come as a surprise because i know you guys you know um but uh but yeah so that's kind of how things are right now uh and uh just uh, nothing but positive and uh it's going to just continue to get better and better and uh, pretty soon uh, I'll be coming back for cosplay content. I still really want to do that. And because, uh, you know, when I, when I told you guys that I was going to stop uploading for the time being, I was concerned that I had no desire to come back after a couple of years, but that desire is still there. And uh, that's a good sign, I'd say. So but there you have it. That's what's going on right now. And uh, yeah, I love and respect you guys and uh, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon.